Hi there, in this video I'm going to show you a quick colour mixing technique that I use uh, mainly for background mountains but it's quite useful for other things like clouds and trees, uh, anything in the background really <coughs> that's set against the sky. So what I do is basically say like in this scene I've drawn in some mountains here uh, in black and firstly i'll just give them a color by double clicking to the right hand side of the mountains text uh, to bring up the layer style box i'll add a color overlay make sure that's on 100 percent, and i'll choose a color so let's go for a color in here so maybe that that blue there it's quite nice um, press ok ok and then i control click next to the text again and i rasterize the layer just to um, embed that color into the layer um, so it's fully that color now and then what i'll do is i'll double click it again and go on color overlay again uh, this time i'll select a new color and i'll select the sky color just above where the mountains are so that yellow there um, and i'm happy with that so i can press ok now the bit that i'm using here in this video is this opacity bar here so basically just taking the opacity and just dropping it down and what what you're seeing here <coughs> is the yellow and the blue from before that's on zero percent that's the original blue and 100 percent that's the new yellow and then all the way in between it's a mixture of those two colors uh, so it's a really great way to blend something into the background um, it kind of adds that atmosphere the color from the sky into the layer below so yeah i use that to maybe i'll, I'll pop that on 70 percent, and that feels quite distant i could have it a bit feeling a bit closer uh around 20 percent, but I, I quite like the 70 70 look so let's do that uh <clears throat> now here's another example um nighttime scene here uh, i'll just i've drawn some mountains in already uh and then i basically will give them a color overlay make sure that's on 100 to start with maybe go for one of these kind of colors uh and i'll okay that i'm happy with that uh rasterize the layer now i'm going for the mixing color so I'll choose a new color, maybe the color just above the the mountains, uh, and then I'm just going to kind of subtly mix that into, so that would be no mixing, and then and that would be a full mix, uh, fully onto the new blue, and this is kind of the halfway point. Um, I think it might only need a little bit of that color, maybe twenty percent, just to help it feel. A little bit further back or 25 maybe um, and then I'll just rasterize that layer these are just here's just some details that I'd drawn on earlier I could uh, increase the uh, brightness on so you can see them uh, here's another quick example this time some really distant uh, cliffs in the sea I've drawn in so some there and then some even further back so let's choose a color for these put that on 100 uh, maybe the color of the sea for example so we'll do that for both of those uh, I'm happy with that and we'll just rasterize both those layers and now the the distant one i'm going to do first so i'm going to take that yellow that's in the sky uh, okay and then i'm gonna just have a look at what those two the blue and the yellow look like mixed so that's feeling really quite nice and distant uh, so maybe i'll go with something like that for the distant ones and then for the closer ones probably don't want too much yellow um, that would be full that's none so maybe just just a bit 20% maybe maybe 30 30 will do it uh, yeah 
and that just helps kind of bring those background hills into the scene uh and i use this technique all the time just to kind of uh just to blend colors really it's a really really handy way to do it um but yeah i hope you found that useful